Tanner says, extending his hand to Dakota. The two shake hands, exchange a manly chin lift of understanding. <laughs> Lucy Paul, author of some book. I can't remember the name of it. No, I'm just kidding. Lucy Paul, author of Wait For Me, joins me on today's show of Uniweb interview show. I'm saying all this backwards. Thank you so much, Lucy Paul, for coming on and joining me on today's show. How are you? I am doing great. Thank you. How are you? Doing so wonderful. I'm so glad to have you on. Um, I've read snippets of your book. It's very, very uh, good. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Lucy. Yes. Will you please tell us about... Well, first, let me say this. This is gonna, This is a new format for the show, everyone. Lucy has volunteered um, as tribute. <laughs> for Did the I? Per- no, you didn't. You were volunteered. Um, yes, so what we're going to do is the timer is going to go off. Um, only I know the amount of time. The timer's going to go off. When it goes off, she'll have a question bomb or an activity we'll have to perform. All right? When this happens, it's going to be completely random. might be in the middle of her talking, but something's going to happen. Something crazy. So stick around. Lucy Paul, let's talk about your book, Wait For Me. What's it about? So basically, it's a love triangle. Um... And so there's my three main characters. Callista is the female lead. And then she has her two love interests, Tanner and Dakota. Um, It's sort of kind of loosely based off of my relationship with my husband. Um, We started out long distance. And so that's the story between Callista and Tanner. They are very long distance. um, Known each other for years. Kind of how their whole little relationship evolves from starting talking online, which is how I met my husband, Mm -hmm. and then kind of progressing from there. And then Dakota comes into the picture a few years after Callista met Tanner, and they kind of pursue a romantic relationship, but she's really hesitant because of Tanner. And Is Dakota male or female? (laughs) Male. Okay. I guess it could be female, right? It could be a girl's name. But yeah, male. Yeah, yeah okay. So what, So the inspiration from this came from real life? Yes. The Not the love triangle, though. No, not... I mean, I, I did date somebody when I knew my husband, okay. um, but it was not to the extent of Callista and Dakota by any means. Okay. But. Did you... So when you were writing this book, have you always written romance and... This... Okay, let's... First off, let's classify this. It's, is it romance? It's romance... Technically, it's called erotic romance, I guess, because there is, like, sex and all that in it, too. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. And is is this your first first book? It is. It is. I never, ever, ever in a million years thought I would write a book. And then I have a really dear friend. She's actually in my dedication of this book. And um, she's been writing a book, trying to write a book for a long time. And I offered to help her kind of beta read it a little bit Mm -hmm. and just kind of from there, it kind of re-sparked my whole love of reading because I'd grown up, growing up, I was a reader. I used to read all the time. And then I had stopped. And so I started reading again. And I was like, I can do this. And I just sat down and started writing. So, yeah. And how long ago was this you said you just started writing? <clears throat> it was a while ago. It was probably like three years ago. Um, and I took a, a little over a year to write the book. And then I took about a year off. I just walked away from it and didn't look at it, didn't read it, nothing. Um, Because I was really freaked out about the whole publishing, marketing, that whole thing. I didn't want to deal with it. So I walked away for about a year. What what all did you write in the beginning? So three years ago when you first started writing, what were you writing? This book. So you started immediately with this book? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I find it's always difficult, like, when writing something similar to life, it's hard for it to process out. Like, it doesn't come out the way you want it to at first. Did you have a hard time getting the story out? 
I did sometimes, but it was also really fun because I would remember stuff that had happened between me and my husband in real life. And he'd be like, oh, remember that time when, you know, such and such and such. And he'd tell me. So it's been really fun kind of looking back. I've known my husband for, let's see, 23 years. It was just 23 years on March 1st. Wow. So, so since you yeah. were a little, since you were born. Pretty much. I mean, I've known him over half my life. So um, it was kind of fun, like reliving some of the stuff that I had, like stuff I had completely forgotten about that he remembered, yeah. stuff that I remembered that he'd forgotten. So it was, it was a fun process. Not everything that we've gone through has been in the book, but um, there's stuff, definitely stuff in there that kind of we went through in our relationship. Being long distance, it's hard. He was in North Carolina and I was in California, so. Wow. Super long distance. Yeah. And he decided to move out to California for you, huh? Yes, eventually, yeah. I actually ended up moving there for a year uh -huh. and then brought him home with me. And we've been here ever since. <laughs> you brought him home. <laughs> Put him on your carry-on. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Time to go back to California. Pretty much. It's so does the book differ from real life, though? I mean, is there some, I mean, obviously, I know there's some aspects of it that aren't um, apart from real life, but, like, in terms of how far does the story veer off? I mean, is it, is it like a big-time fiction dip? It's, it pretty much is. I mean, the, the whole love story between Callista and Dakota, so that's the guy that comes in later. Uh-oh! God. You know what that means. <laughs> Hold that thought. Question time. Okay. okay. We're going to play 20 questions lightning round. Are you ready to answer questions at the speed of light? So ready. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Favorite sound. Oh my God, kissing. Favorite person. <laughs> you. Favorite sport. I don't like sports. Favorite food? Brownies. Favorite song? Oh God, that I can't even answer that. That's like, I can't even, anything by Hailstorm. Favorite movie? 16 Candles. Least favorite sound? People eating. Least favorite person? Oh, that's really, oh, I don't know. God, that's a hard one, I don't know. Come on, call somebody out. You again. Least favorite sport? All of them. Basketball. Least favorite food? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Come on. Mush mushrooms. Least favorite song? Come on. Come on. Oh, my God. Anything but Coldplay. Ugh. Least favorite movie? Come on. What's the movie? Lightning. I, don't even know. I, can't, I can't even hear Lightning remember. round. Movie you hate. Uh, I don't remember ever seen a movie that I hated. Okay. First love. Oh, my husband. First words. In like as a baby? First noise you ever heard. <laughs> Crying. Favorite memory. Ooh. I'm um, probably the first time I met my husband. Shoes? Shoes? Is that what you said? Arm? <laughs> Leg. Battleships. Submarine. Country music. No. Fishing. Mm -mm. That's okay. Roller derby. Never seen it. Ice cream. Heck yes. Beans. Coffee beans. Turtle. Tortoise. Nice job. That was 20 questions lightning round with Lucy Paul. Thanks for playing, Lucy Paul. Seriously, I don't think I've ever seen a movie I hated, though. Really? Like, I, yeah. You've never walked out of a movie before? No. I, I can think of some horror movies that I'm just like, nope. <laughs> Not watching that. Yeah, I can't. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like there's there's movies I won't even watch because I just think that they're, they're too terrifying. Like, they... Oh, that's right. You're afraid of scary movies. I remember you saying I'm that. terrified of scary movies. I'm terrified. I mean, I guess you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's the point, right? You're supposed to be afraid. You're supposed to be afraid. That's okay, though. But you did. You did really well. Um, some of your some of your answers were wrong. Definitely. I mean. <laughs>
Although, <laughs> They're yeah, probably anything talking about anything your favorite like, things. Yeah. What What of my favorite things didn't you like? Um, all of them. Hey, what was the loudest noise you ever loudest? It was supposed. To, the question was supposed to be loudest noise you ever heard. What, what would you say the loudest noise you ever heard was? Probably a gunshot. Was it like near you? Yeah, I used to shoot guns all the time with my dad. <clears throat> Why? I know I look like a person that would go shooting. I know. No, Were I. You, oh my god, it was so much fun. Was it like rifles or? Yeah, actually, I see. See if I would have known we were going to talk about this. I have my rifle upstairs. I just got it from my dad. Um, I had a rifle, a pistol. I used to shoot double barrel shotguns, like wow. little tiny handheld pistols. I want to shoot guns. It's so much fun. You've never done it before. No, I've. No, I haven't. I've shot in uh, BB guns <laughs> and like pellet guns. I know it's not. It's not even close to the same at all. I've yeah. thrown a rock extremely hard. Oh, well, that's at, close. At a tree. <laughs> so you've same, almost been shooting. Same thing, I think. Pretty <laughs> like, much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's really fun. You should go. Thanks. I'll think about and, it. And you live in the <laughs> south, I'm sure. Can Can you guys carry? I can carry whatever I want. Like. I carried this bucket of pins around earlier. <laughs> I do what I want, okay? I do what I want. That's my mon- That's my mantra, man. I do what I want. That's true. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So what were we talking about? Something about your book, right? Something about book. Oh, like what's... Your husband. So, yeah. So the, the relationship between Callista and Dakota is like super way fiction, like so much deeper than that actual relationship really was. Um, But I'd say the storyline between Callista and Tanner, which represents my husband, um, is pretty consistent to what we kind of went through. Yeah. Uh, And the first book ends on a cliffhanger. So book two is in the works. This is a series. It's a series. You didn't just immediately kill these people off at the end of the book. I did not. I feel like that's well, the only good I way. Did. <laughs> or maybe I did. Yeah, that's the only good way to end a book. <laughs> if it's not going to be a series, everybody dies. <laughs> so when I was when I was writing this book, I got to a point where I was super frustrated and I just couldn't, I oh, just couldn't get past this one part. And so I ended up writing an alternative scene where they do <laughs> just die. You and it all cracks them. Them. I'll go back and read it sometimes and just laugh. It's so funny. It's good. Do times. you ever? Do you ever think about wanting to use it? Um, I know you. The I book, would. But... I, yeah, I wouldn't. But uh, I don't know. It's pretty fun. Was and I know you, you talked about being afraid of like marketing. Best. That's what she said. Ah. <laughs> okay, we got rock paper scissors. Oh, I love two it. out of three. You ready to go? So ready. Wait, how do you do it? Is it <laughs> rock you... paper scissors shoot? Okay, same. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. What do you have? I can't see yours. Scissors. Oh, okay, I gotta go higher. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go higher. Okay. Rock, (laughs) paper, scissors, shoot. (laughs) Come on. Come on, Matt. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I swear, Dad. We did not plan this. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. (laughs) <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Okay, come Stop. on. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, he ah, gotcha. Damn. All right. One more. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, Matt. <laughs> I am a champion. <laughs> I just let you win because it's your show. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm nice like that. It's truly all I have. <laughs> 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 oh god all right what were we talking about <laughs> this is something about my book i don't know oh yeah oh. marketing so marketing is important for books back to the regular <laughs> schedule program apparently it's really important right and you just you just said you t- had to take an entire year off mm-hmm. of what you were doing because you were terrified of the marketing aspect of it yeah it was the marketing the publishing the editing all that so what are you doing? Like, what are you doing now? Because, okay, so you edited the whole book yourself. Yes. Multiple times, apparently. Yeah, I like seven or eight times I read that thing. I was so sick of it. Are there any issues that... You... 
Any recent None. family issues? None. <laughs> None whatsoever. It's perfect no. in every way. Nice job. That'd be that'd be the first book ever. Congratulations. <laughs> no. So that so you got over that fear, mm-hmm. cross that bridge, and then you got to publish it. Now that was also a big fear for you, right? Yes. But only because I had no idea what I was doing. So. How did you find? Did you just read? Like, did you Google something? Did you watch a YouTube, <laughs> YouTube video about how to do it? <laughs> so here's the thing. I am horrible at research. I hate it. I hate planning. I hate I hate research. Like I don't like I don't like it. It's not my thing. So again, um my friend that's in my dedication, she's mm-hmm. a researcher. So I just kind of like throw questions her way and be like, hey, can you help me with this? Hey, can you help me with that? And she kind of helped kind of guide me in the right direction. Now I did have to go on all the little author groups and look for more help, which I hated because research. <clears throat> but yeah. I eventually just kind of did it and went, okay, I hope this works. And then it was on Amazon. So it worked. Yeah. At some point you just got to be like, whatever, and push mm-hmm. that thing out there. Mm-hmm. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. Terrifying. So it is terrifying, but it's also like super freeing and exciting at the same time. As soon as you do it, it's like a weight has been lifted. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So how long is how long has it been out for now? Two it weeks. Came, it was public. Yeah, about that February twenty second. So I think it was two weeks on Friday. And you've done you've done some marketing for it, correct? <clears throat> a little bit. I've done like an author takeover and. Just step on the Twitter. Oh, yeah. How did the author takeover go? That was last week, right? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was fun. It was fun. That was on Facebook. And um, I've gotten a lot of new followers from it, so I guess that's a good thing. Right? Yeah, it is. People who want to read your stuff, hopefully. Did you, on the on the author takeover, did you, like, what did you do? Like, was it you on camera or? No. Like a it live? Was, oh. No, it wasn't anything, like, as super cool as this. It was. Um, oh yeah, I can do something. <laughs> kind of way above. Um, basically, we just kind of have the group is kind of ours for about a half an hour. So you just post like silly games to get people's attention, and like I gave away a couple copies of my book. <clears throat> I gave away a copy of the author who was hosting the takeover. I gave away a copy of her book. Mm. Um, basically, you're just kind of getting your name out there and letting people kind of know who you are. Who is the author? <clears throat> Her name is Annie Dyer. Annie Dyer. Is she is she in the same um, category or yes. uh, genre as you? Yeah, she is. Was she was she uh, did she read some of your book? I don't know if she's read any of my book. That's a really good question, Matt. Thank you. It's what I do. <laughs> I ask questions. <laughs> oh, I like to ask questions. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious, like, have you, have you gotten feedback so far uh, from anybody? Um, from, like, that takeover? No, I mean, from, like, reading your book. I've gotten have you gotten any kind of feedback? Views. You've already gotten, like, on Amazon and stuff? Mm-hmm. How much did you have to pay these people? to? It was so expensive. I can't <laughs> get to tell you. But it's worth it. Because, you know, Amazon reviews. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, because I've only got like one, and it was I don't. But so you've gotten a good review so far. I will review your book as soon as I get to finish it, if I ever get to finish it. That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> um, I, it's not. That's. I don't think that's what I'm going to make a million dollars for. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I don't. Maybe I'll have to raise the price to a million dollars, and then <laughs> one, and then you're have good. One person buy it. That's the secret right there. That's that definitely the secret. secret. We just so, uncovered something. I'm always uncovering all kinds of great secrets to life because I meditate. You know, I was looking at myself. I was uh, exercising this morning, and I was meditating afterwards, and I looked at myself in the mirror, and I was like, I look just like the Buddha. (laughs) 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 Okay. Okay, next challenge. This one's called Get Your Paper Out. You got your paper and your pen. This one's called Draw Me a Picture. You've got 30 seconds to draw a picture of me, and I'm going to draw a picture of you. 
Are you ready for this? Oh, so ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> what do you look like? I feel like there needs to be music. There does need to be music. I was actually talking about that when I was setting up those. I think I'll do music and then uh, post this. There we go. <laughs> 20 seconds. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get all this beautiful beauty into one picture. Here's one. I appreciate that. Oh my god. I gave you two Talk pictures. Talking about me. Let's go. Oh, good lord. With this picture. What are you doing? You're going to have no teeth. <clears throat> you got five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, time's up, time's up. I only did your face. Yeah, I wasn't like full body. That'd be insane. All right. Are you ready Hi. for the reveal? So ready. Here we go. Three. Are we going to do it at the same time? Um, yeah. yeah. We'll do it at the same time, and then you, I'll show you yours, and then you can show. <laughs> okay. Three, two, <laughs> One, go. Oh, yours is way better than mine. What is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> can you see? I can see it. <clears throat> that is kind of what I look like, though. It's not that. <laughs> so, I don't know what I was thinking, but you have facial hair. I am so handsome. You're so I've got great You're eyebrows. so attractive. You've got great eyebrows. This is, this is pretty, you've got like alien type eyes. I kind of do. Do my lips look like that? Yeah. <laughs> Great. That was that, that was, was called amazing. Draw Me a Picture. And right. it was amazing. We we're both not very good artists. We should stick to our day jobs. You're being a great sport. No, I'm yeah. This is listen, give me if you would have given me sixty if I had sixty seconds, this would have been a masterpiece. <laughs> I believe it. Thirty seconds is pushing it, lady. Okay. <laughs> Seconds is like that's a lot of pressure. I know, it's crazy hard. Okay, so <laughs> you're getting reviews back. Mm -hmm. You've gotten good reviews so far. Really good reviews, yeah. What has what verbatim? Um, please tell me one of these reviews. <laughs> one of them said, "This is the most amazing book I've ever read." Um, what did your dad say? Uh, you know, so. My parents, so my dad has tried to friend my author page, right? And yeah. um, you won't let him. We <laughs> no, I had to have a conversation with my dad in person. I said, Dad, I don't know if you're gonna want to be friends with <laughs> with me on my author page. And he's like, Why? And so I proceeded to explain to him and my mom that my book is, you know, how would you describe it? It's um. It's like it's, it's like a reading lot of dirt porn stuff in my book. It's like reading right. porn. It is. Well, so my mom actually was very upset with me yesterday. Why did you have to write a book like that? And I said because it's what I like to read, and she's like very not happy. But I kept trying to tell what, her it's a love story. What what book inspired you? To, like, was there a certain <laughs> book that inspired you to write this way? Since you said it's this is the type of stuff you like to read, is there <clears throat> author and book that got you like yeah? Yeah. So the first book that like really like hooked me back into reading was um uh oh my god I fully blanked. Kristen Ashley is the author, and the book is um, Breathe by Kristen Ashley. Okay. And, and it's part of her Colorado Mountain series, and so I read that book, just fell in love with it. Oh no, it was Sweet Dreams. That was the first one I read. Sweet Dreams. Sweet Dreams. Okay. Yeah, and um <clears throat> that story, I just oh. I loved it. Is, I don't know if you ever read it. Christian. You do? Yes. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Kristen Ashley, she's amazing. And so I read that book, read the whole series. Um, I've read a lot of stuff by Jay McLean. I really like Jay McLean. She um, she writes young adult. My book is young adult. <clears throat> um, so they have similarities in that. Mine's a little dirtier than what Jay writes, but. Um, they have the young adult thing kind of in common. 
But yours, you said yours is not young adult. It is actually, but it's dirty young it's like adult. Twenty one and over, though, correct? I oh yeah, you should. Well, you should. Yeah, you should be at least eighteen to read my book. Let's just. Right. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm you should be at least eighteen. Um. But yeah. So those are like probably the two biggest. Yeah, I was I was wondering too because uh, I've read parts of the book and um, you've got children as well, correct? Mm-hmm. Boys or girls? I have three boys. Are they are they able to read? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how old they are. Like, I couldn't read till I was fourteen. I believe it. <clears throat> it's still um, in question to this day. <laughs> I know. I started reading your book. Trust me, I understand. Hey. <laughs> No, um, they're 13, 11, and 7, so yeah. So what do you think uh, when, uh, do you ever, does it ever cross your mind, like, while you're writing something steamy, and you're like, so-and-so is going to see this one day and be like, chicken so <laughs> Well, see, they already know they're not allowed to read my book, so. Which they're definitely trying to read it as much as possible. Well, it's funny because when I was writing it, they'd be like around me hanging. I'd be have to like close my laptop. Like, you need to go away. You need to go away. I'm working on my book. You need to go away. And Mom. then there's actually, I know. Mommy's there's, reading dirty things. Right mommy's now. writing really bad things. Um, there's one chapter in my book that they can actually read. And so I said to my middle son, I was like, hey, do you want to read some of my book? And he looked at me like, what? And I'm like, no, no, no. There's a chapter you can read. And I let him read the chapter. And he was like, Okay, mom. And he just walked away. There's nothing dirty in it. There's one chapter that has nothing dirty in it. Wow. And everything else. So that brings me to this because we're going to read uh, from your book. Mm-hmm. Does this have anything dirty in it? I haven't read ahead. You told me what you told me what you wanted to read. Yeah. No. It's not dirty? Is this the chapter you told you let him read? No. No. This, what we're going to read right here is, um, are we going to do it now? Yeah, let's do this thing. Um, this, Exclusive. I mean, this, yeah, woohoo. Um, this doesn't have anything dirty, like sex wise, in it, but it does have bad words. Okay. Uh, mm, yeah, there's no. There's, oh wait, yeah, no, there's no. <clears throat> I had to check. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start reading this. I'm playing two characters, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're gonna be Dakota and Tanner. So this scene is one of the few scenes on my book that has all three of my main characters in it. Okay. Um, and it's a very important scene in the book because Dakota and Tanner meet each other for the first time. Do they know? Do they know about each other? They do know about each other. But they've never met. They've never met. Okay. So this is this could be terrible or it could be great. Like it could be like a they could kill each other. It could be. There's they're both guys. Dakota and Tanner are both guys. Yes, they are. That's why you're reading so, both of them. Right. I can do a great woman's voice. Hello. Is that hey. what we sound like? Mama woman. That's how women sound. It's totally how we sound. Yeah. You nailed it. Nailed it. All right. So you are you are you starting? Yes. Are you at the where I told you to start? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> let's do it. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me get this some water. This is okay. Let's set set the scene. So this is from chapter ten of Wait for Me by Lucy <laughs> Paul. Yes, it is. Ready? Yep. Okay. His lips press into mine, and he kisses me hard and wet. This kiss is so deep, the sound of my heart so deafening, I don't hear the car door slam shut or the footsteps approaching. I do, however, hear a familiar voice call out. Callie. Callie. It's not a horror, like, book. Callie. (laughs) Oh, God. Okay. My body goes stiff and I immediately break the kiss, but don't look to see who it is. I already know. I shut my eyes tightly, silently praying this isn't happening. How can this be happening? Shit, fuck, motherfucker. I feel Dakota's body transform into puffed up protector mode as he turns his head to see who's interrupting us. Can I help you? He asks, the tone in his voice emitting a total, I better like your fucking answer vibe. 
I'm here for Callista. Out of the words, I feel Dakota's body straighten even more as his arms tighten around me, shielding me from view. I open my eyes and bring my hands down to his chest, taking a deep breath. <clears throat> I gather the courage to look past his body. And you would be? Dakota challenges. My tearful blue eyes meet his sad hazel ones. Tanner, I breathe. The shock of seeing him makes me feel weak. I clutch Dakota's shirt to keep from collapsing. Ah, oh, Kelly. Can't with you. Uh, Tanner, oh my God, Tanner, how? What are you doing here? Dakota lets his arms drop from around me carefully, making sure I'm able to hold myself up. He steps back, turning to face Tanner. You're Tanner. Yeah. I'm guessing you're Dakota. That's me. They stand there squaring off, sizing each other up, or whatever guys do when the testosterone starts flying. Well, this isn't awkward or anything. Someone shoot me and put me out of my misery. <clears throat> Tanner finally breaks the silence. You mind if I have a few words with her alone? <clears throat> I can see a muscle twitching in Dakota's jaw while he considers Tanner's request. It's obvious he is not in any way comfortable leaving me alone with him, but he also knows about our relationship. <laughs> Deep down, he knows I'll be okay with Tanner. Yeah. He answers reluctantly. I was just leaving anyway. Thanks, man. <laughs> Oh my god. <clears throat> Tanner says, extending his hand to Dakota. The two shake hands, exchange a manly chin lift of understanding. <laughs> that was good. <clears throat> then Dakota turns to me and closes in. He whispers in my ear. Are you going to be okay with him? I can stay if you need me to. I'm fine. We're fine. I don't know what he's doing here, Dakota. He didn't tell me he was coming, I swear. I look into his eyes apologetically. He gives me a small squeeze. It's okay, cake. <laughs> it's okay, cake. Oh, Call God. me after you talk. Got it? I nod in response to his request. He kisses my temple tenderly, then gets into his truck. <clears throat> I walk around the front of the truck to meet Tanner, who had gone to stand on the sidewalk. I wave to Dakota as he drives away, then turns so I'm fully facing Tanner. God, he looks even more handsome than I remember him. He had grown out his facial hair, and it looks good on him. Really good. I reach my hand up to touch his face, but he flinches and moves his head to the side before I make contact. Shit. My hand slowly lowers to my side. <laughs> Babe, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me you were coming? I wanted to surprise you. Surprise, he says. There's no exclamation oh. point. <laughs> Surprise. He says flatly, his voice completely devoid of emotion. Tanner, I'm so sorry you had to see that. You have no idea how awful I feel that you saw us kissing. I'm so sorry, babe. I wish I would have known you were coming out. I'm so happy you're here. I move to hug him, and he backs away, holding his hand out in front of himself. <clears throat> no, Callie. I can't do this right now. Do you have any idea how much that fucking killed me? Seeing you with him? Witness hits my eyes and I begin to cry. It's been bad enough hearing you talk about him. I know you've been talking about him because I've been asking, but fuck. I was not expecting you to see that when I drove up here today. I missed you so much. I finally convinced myself to go on a date a week ago. And I spent <laughs> the whole time thinking about you. And about the fact that Jillian wasn't you. I went home and booked a flight as soon as I dropped her off. This shit is so fucked up. <clears throat> Ugh, he said her name. I've heard him say it before, but for some reason watching his mouth form the word right before me, before my eyes, made me feel sick. God, gross. Jealousy is an asshole. What do you want me to say? I didn't set this up so you'd catch me kissing him. I didn't even know you were coming. Do you think this is how I would have liked this to go? I'm devastated it happened this way. Yeah. <clears throat> you looked really devastated when I pulled around the corner and saw some dude sticking his tongue down your throat. My eyes widen and I stare at him in shock. Hot, wet streaks drip down my cheeks as my pain turns into anger. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Tell me you're fucking joking, Tanner. No, she's pissed. And the second I heard your voice, my heart dropped. Not because you were here, because believe me, I'm so happy you're here. 
but because I knew what you saw, and you shouldn't have to see that. I don't want to see you with another girl. I can't imagine it. It would kill me, babe. Would it? Would it kill you, Callie? Because the way you were holding him and the way you were letting him hold you makes me think you wouldn't really care much if you never saw me again. The overwhelming sound of hurt in his voice is heartbreaking. I had unintentionally hurt him, and I don't know what to do to fix it. Even still, it pisses me off that you said that to me. You know that's not true. Deep down, you know it. I take a moment to calm myself down because I can feel the anger starting to surface. After what he just saw, I can completely understand why he's acting the way he is. I'm so sorry you saw me with him. I can't unsee that, Callie. Nothing we can do about that now. Is there? All I can do is stare into his once beautiful eyes that are now filled with hurt and defeat and try to communicate how sorry I am. I did that to him. It wasn't on purpose, but still, it's my fault. All I want to do is reach out and touch him. I want to comfort him and assure him that everything is going to be okay. I suddenly start to feel nervous. He looks like he wants nothing to do with me, but I need to try. Can I hug you, babe? I missed you so much, and it's so fucking good to see your face, even if I'm the reason it looks so sad right now. <clears throat> he doesn't say anything. He doesn't move. I decide to take a step forward, then another, until I'm close enough to touch him. I reach out to take his hand in mine. The second our skin touches, he yanks on my hand so my body slams into his. He holds me so tight I can barely breathe. It feels amazing to be in his arms again. It's so good to see you, Tanner. I missed you. I feel his lips move next to my hair when he speaks. Missed you too, baby. Is the Elvis? I'm confused. <laughs> hey, I'm I'm the guy, okay? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <clears throat> we stand on the sidewalk in front of my parents' house for what seems like an hour just holding each other. I nuzzle my nose into his chest and breathe in his scent. He smells so good, just like I remember you. Tanner's chest swells as he inhales deeply. His whole demeanor changes just before he gently pushes me back, breaking our hug. I lift my eyes to his, and what I see makes my, my heart drop into my stomach. <clears throat> you know that feeling you get when something really bad is about to happen? That's exactly what I'm experiencing when I look at his face. Whatever's about to happen isn't going to be good. My body is frozen in place, unable to talk or move, completely paralyzed by the fear of what he is about to do or say. His hands drop from my arms, and he stares at his feet. I have to go. Oh, no. What, what do you mean? I grab his hand to give it a quick jerk, bringing his attention to me. <clears throat> when his eye, hold on, <clears throat> I have really bad allergies right now. <laughs> when his eyes meet mine, it's like a knife through my heart. They are welled with tears and riddled with anger and pain. I gulp down the bile I feel rising in my throat and ask, tell me what you mean, babe. Just what I said, I have to go. Can't stay here, Callie. His gaze returns to his feet. Okay, well, I mean, I understand that. Where are you staying? Can I see you to... Before I can finish, he starts shaking his head. You don't get it. You... You smell like him. I've got to get the fuck out of here. I'm going back home. His words hit me like a brick. Shit. He can smell Dakota's cologne on me. I'm suddenly overwhelmed with feelings of guilt. Tanner, I... That's all I'm able to get out. I really don't know why I started talking because I have no idea what to say to make this better. I feel tears beginning to burn in my eyes again as I try to process what's happening. I have to say what is on my heart, what I hope will get him to change his mind. I want you to stay. He sighs and looks towards his left car. He slowly turns back to me and says, No, Callie. No, you're, no, you're, go, you, you missed a part. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Shit, again. Tanner. No, Callie. This is fucked up, and I don't want to be around for any more of it. He sounds really pissed off. I can't be around for any more of it. He pauses for a moment, and I catch a look in his eyes that I don't quite understand. Before I have a chance... <laughs> pretty much. Before I have a chance to figure out what it is, he goes on. Sorry I ruined your date. Or whatever I walked into. The next thing he says sends chills throughout my body. Won't happen again. Tanner, babe, don't. I grab his arm. Don't do this. Let me go, Callie. 
No. More tears begin to streak down my cheeks. Let me fucking go. <clears throat> One look into his eyes is all I need to see I'm not going to win this fight. Reluctantly, I let go of his arm and lower my gaze to the ground beneath our feet. I'm so sorry, Tanner. When he answers, his voice is soft. Yeah, me too. His hand cuts my cheek and I lift my head. <clears throat> he stares at me for a minute, strokes his thumb down my skin and says, Bye, Kathy. My body starts to shake from the force of my tears. Bye, Tanner. He shoves his hands into his pockets before turning away and walking to his car with his head down. He opens the door and turns to face me one last time. My vision is blurred, but I can still see the torment in his face. This isn't supposed to happen. This can't be the end of us. He starts to get in, into the car, but I stop him. Tanner! I run a few steps forward, but as soon as he looks at but stop as soon as he looks at me. I can see the anger. I can see the pain. I know he needs to get away to clear his head, but I have to make sure he knows I still need him. Please let me know when you get home, okay? I'll be worried if you don't. Yeah, I'll let you know. Promise? I promise, Callie. He hesitates for a second before getting into his car, turning on the ignition, and driving away. Away from me. I stand there alone, staring into the space where I last saw Tanner, feeling like my heart is being crushed inside my chest. What the fuck just happened? God, I hope we'll be able to move past this. What a mess. I walk back to my house and go straight to my room. I close my door, throw myself on my bed, and cry. And see. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> I can feel the, like, it makes my stomach turn thinking about it. It's like such a nasty, difficult situation to be in. Can you imagine? I've, yeah, I've been there. <laughs> Have you really in real life? Lived in that situation. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that's why, <laughs> that's why I was able to play the character so well. <laughs> very, very believable with the Elvis accent. I liked it, which is, you know, my husband's from North Carolina, so it is the South. So, like, you know. Yeah, exactly. I figured you'd have a Southern twang. You know right? what's funny? He doesn't. No. He never has. His whole family does, but he doesn't. He sounds like a Yankee Doodle Dandy. Pretty much. I wonder what a Yankee Doodle Doodle Dandy does sound like. I'm not. <laughs> I re I really enjoyed that. That's that's. It's good. So, and you yep. said it's based out of something that really happened, um, kind of, kind of not really, which is what fiction is. Yes. So, <laughs> that scene didn't actually happen. Not in real life. That was all fiction. That was all me. You made that up. I did. You're like a wizard. That's Pretty amazing. Much. <laughs> that was really good. Thank you for thanks for uh, letting me be a, a goofball and read alongside you, um, of your awesome story. Uh, I do want to ask before we wrap up, what what kind of legacy are you looking to leave for your writing? If if you are, if you want to legacy. <clears throat> I mean, like I said, I never, ever, 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 ever thought I would write a book. Um, so really, I mean, all I'm looking to get out of it really is to make people laugh, smile, get pissed off, cry a little, get turned on, all the stuff. That's all I'm looking for. If if I if somebody reads my book and they genuinely enjoy it, that's that's all I'm looking for, really. You want them to feel. <clears throat> I do. Yeah, I want them to feel, and I hope they can connect with my characters and kind of understand where they're coming from and feel their everything. Yeah, like, I've been Tanner. I can totally I can totally relate with Tanner. Like that's oh, that's sad. Super crushing. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, so you have to read the rest of my book. Eh, probably won't. But yeah, I'll, I'll just kidding. <laughs> I will. I promise. So, uh, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Do for you that. have any? Do you have any parting words um, that you'd like to either say, leave as words that you live by, or ask quite a question of me before you go? Ooh. Well, words I live by, and we talked about this briefly, um, <clears throat> I do what I want. Yeah. And that's true. There's a lot. Of, well, I find, and especially with writing, I, I think you've probably come across this. There's, there's this whole, like, thought process that people have. You have to do it a certain way, and you have to follow all these rules, and, like, you know, your story should have this, this, and this. And it, I, I don't, that's not how I write. 
um, I just, I do what I want. And if it turns, hopefully it turns out well, you know, um, but that, that's kind of my, I kind of go, I live by that in life a lot too. As long as it's got like a beginning, middle and end, usually yeah. it's going to be okay. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be in that order all the time. I mean, that's true. like Benjamin Button, you know, which I've never seen the movie. Or I've never seen it either. <laughs> just a green. So we're like, yeah, oh, yeah, it's exactly. just like Benjamin Button. It's just, just like, like that. <laughs> I have <Just>. no clue. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, God. So that's, there you have it, folks. Uniweb interview show yeah. with Lucy Paul, author of Wait For Me. Mm-hmm. Can't wait to read the, the rest of this book. Um, so Working fun. Working on book two. Working on book two. When is when do you have like a, a proposed release date for book two? I don't, but I would like it to be by the summer. So I'm really trying to crank this one out now that I'm not as scared as I was the first time. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping early summer ish. Early summer ish. <clears throat> early summer ish. Of this year. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, don't don't worry about editing or anything. That's totally useless. Just no. put it out there. I'm just gonna like write it, publish it, and be like, all right, I'm done. Good luck, book. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, just like send it off. Now. <laughs> do well. I hope you do well. So it's where like can we find it? Where can we buy your show. book? Because I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna leave links to all your stuff in the description. Oh, where can we buy it? Is that what you said? Yeah. It's on Amazon. Okay. And then I also, um, through my website, you can order autographed uh, paperbacks. What's the website? It's www.lucypaulbooks.com. No, do you still use www? I don't know. Nobody does that. What do you I don't use? think anybody does that. Yeah, so lucypaulbooks.com. <laughs> I've been around for a while. So. Um, okay. Lucypaulbooks.com. Yeah. yeah. All right, and you're twi- you're on Twitter as well and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Are you cool with people following you on those two things? I'm so cool with that. I'm also on Instagram. Okay. So Lucy Paul Books is my handle on all of those, except for Facebook is probably just Lucy Paul. You heard it, probably- here, folks. It's Lucy Paul Books on everything except Facebook, which she's going to change apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to. Cause- yeah, okay. no. <clears throat> I'll put the, oh, don't worry I'm gonna put the descriptions uh, or something I'll put links in the description of this video so everyone will know where to find you and harass you um, and tell you how great your book is thanks yay hopefully that's what they say they probably won't but <clears throat> I have people I have people tell me all the time how ridiculous I am so it's fine just you gotta roll with it you know we learn how to roll with it I think your I think your book's pretty good though I've only read I've only read parts of it and it's the parts I've read have been good. Have they made you happy? They have. Like that that was happy. I mean, it made me feel sick, but it made me feel. It was good. That well see that's what yeah, that's what I want. I want to evoke emotion. Yeah, it was evoked. <clears throat> <laughs> you definitely evoked it. Well that's good. It's good. Then I'm happy. What evokes emotion? Good job. <clears throat> All right, Lucy, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time on the new web show. All right. Hopefully I'll be back for book two. Yeah, we'll definitely have you back. Okay. Sounds good. I can have her back. (laughs) This is a total flop, this interview. It was terrible. Garbage. Edit, 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 trash. Trash. Throw her in the garbage. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification for the bell. You know what? We love you. Love you. Love you. You know what?